milestones of the century. This is the film record of one man's heroic contribution to aviation medicine, Air Force Colonel John Paul Stapp. In January 1950, Colonel Stapp entered the special sled, ready to ride the rails to a split-second stop, copying an airplane crash landing. The four-rocket sled, controlled from a nearby station, was exploded down the tracks at 150 miles an hour. Here, the Colonel reacts as the sled is braked to a sudden dead halt. Watch the breakneck stop. Shaking off the effects of the rapid deceleration, he came through unharmed, learning important safety lessons, already eager for more and faster rides. In June 1954, six rockets meant added power and a chance for Colonel Stapp to determine the shock jet pilots undergo when bailing out. Securely strapped in, he was catapulted down the track at 421 miles an hour, his face reflecting the terrible strain. Water brakes checked the sled's speed in an instant. End of the line. The colonel, tempting death again, chalked up another lesson. In December 1954, the 2,000-ton sled had its speed stepped up again as this time, nine rockets were fixed in place. Once more, Colonel Stapp used his own body to determine if pilots could survive the shock of parachuting out of planes at supersonic speeds. Four strong nylon belts lashed him to the seat. His helmet was firmly fastened so that the fiercely screaming wind would not break his neck. Leaping down the rails, the sled hurtled Colonel Stapp along at 632 miles an hour, faster than anyone had ever traveled on land. After the shattering stop, assistants sprinted toward the Colonel, who survived to pass his hard-won knowledge on to the Air Corps. The vital information from Colonel Stapp enabled America's Air Force to launch new and radical aircraft. Super jets, which would otherwise be a hazard to pilots, can now be safely manned. Aviators are able to bail out of speeding jets and live. America's jet supremacy prevails, thanks in large part to a scientist who used his own torso as a test tube. Colonel John Paul Stapp, his daring stands high among the aviation milestones of the century.